Monica, and I'm coming to you today with a beading haul from my good friends at bbcraft.com. I will put my affiliate link below in the description if you're interested in checking them out. I am also one of their YouTube partners, and I get to make these tutorials and little sneak peeks on my social medias for the different products that I have. If you're interested in becoming a member of their YouTube program, I will have that information in a slide here, and you can check out that link below in my description as well. If you have more than 100 YouTube subscribers, just fill out their information and they'll get in touch with you. So let's get into what I got this month from bbcraft.com. So first up, since it's easier to open because you're looking at it right now, is the random mix of polymer clay flower beads. And I love these for earrings, but as you can see, like this little ring that I have. Now, I did not make this ring. I purchased this from a fellow creator in her Etsy shop, and I'll put a link below to that, because she had my Stargazer Lily, and that's part of my branding. So I wanted to get that from her and support one of my fellow beaders in the process. But you can make your own if you can and do polymer clay crafts and create your own beads. But I love these little beads here. I forget what flowers these are. Plumeria flowers, and they are so cute, and they come in all of these different colors. So I could just have all sorts of rings and earrings for that. Now, the various colors here are cool, especially during summertime, but I don't know why this reminds me of Hawaii. Is a plumeria flower from Hawaii? I don't know. One of my good friends lived in Hawaii and just recently moved to one of the states I lived in previously in Arizona. So if you're watching this video, is plumeria flowers, do you see those in Hawaii very much? Maybe I'll Google that and insert a slide to answer my own question. I don't know, but... <laughs> Let me know below if you know for sure. So those are really cool and I get, oh, let's see. These are 15 mil millimeter sized flowers and I get 200 of those. And look, I've got pink and blue. There's also a bright pink, I think. Yeah, here's one. Look, this right here is Sparkle by Monica Colors, y'all. And then we have these different sets here. Now, uh, one of them is a resin bead and roses, and then the other is an earring kit. So I'm just gonna open these up and come back. So first up are these cute little rose-themed resin beads in a bunch of colors. And let's see, I get mm, 200 pieces of these as well, wow. In each of the different colors, they are nine by seven millimeter with a one millimeter hole. And I love that they have all of these colors. There are, what, five, 10, so there's 10 different colors. So you get 20 each of these beads. And then they have such a cute look to them because they're dainty, they're small, and look at the pretty colors. You get some pinks, some peaches and oranges, some blues, some yellow. So these are nice, fun spring and summery colors. I love these, those are like a teal color. Yeah, so these are really cute for um, little kids' bracelets and earrings. If you love roses, anything that you want to put these on, like bookmark dangles, things like that. I love this. Even headbands, when you do the little scrunchies and stuff, you can add these cute little beads. And they're just so fun. So these are really cool colors that I love to work with. And they're nice, bright, and happy, and in a rose theme. So I'm looking forward to that. And as always... I love these cases. So you get all of the roses are here together in a nice handy little case. Now this kit I was really excited about because it is completely floral themed and these are ceramic, I believe. These are porcelain and this component is huge. It's a porcelain set of flowers there together it's flat back, there are no holes, so you will need to be adhering these to whatever components that you're going to be using. Look at these silver connectors. So you get a lot of these different connectors here. You get some ear wires to put them on your earrings. You get some teardrop beads. Tons of these components here that are a floral. Okay. 
So now these are not beads, so they don't have a hole in them. So if you get this kit, just be advised of that. You will be using your glue. So I'll probably, I have super new glue. I also use the E6000 jewelry glue. And those two would get all of my lovely little flowers adhered to my components. So that's the ultimate goal here for these little porcelain flowers is to try to get them adhered to the metal components, however you want them, you know, placed on there. I'm gonna pull all these up here so you can see them. But I just love the colors in these. It's a nice little rose color. They have, they've got some really small ones. If you want dainty little earrings, little dainty additions on your themed pieces here. These are so beautiful. And then of course, all of the metal components here. Those are just awesome. We got these round ones and this square, but I guess it's more kind of a diamond shape for the purposes of what we're doing here. They've got two loops on them so you can make you know, bracelets, you can add this into necklaces if you want. You can do earrings and use the drops. There's some more circles and diamond shapes. These I loved. This is what caught my attention on the picture of the kit. So look at that. It's a, just a thin piece of metal and you can glue your floral element on anywhere that you want on this. And it is just a lovely little drop, like a teardrop there. This is actually a good size. It's not little on that teardrop shape. Here is another one of those large components there. Isn't that really pretty? I just love the detail on these. And then what I have left are the ear wires. So I've got some head pins to put all these on here and then I can do these teardrop beads. These are glass beads with my components, my metal and my floral components here. So I'm looking forward to making these earrings are gonna be in my beautiful pink and blue colors. They're kind of Victorian-esque, <laughs> if you will. And that will be really an interesting pair. This would be great to wear with a denim jacket anything that is casual but you want a floral element to it. I'm really excited about this kit here from my friends at BB Craft. Again, if you are interested in any of these items that you see here, I will of course have them linked below in my description with my affiliate links. And if you are a fellow YouTuber and you would like to join their YouTube partner program, just check that link out as well in my description below. They would love to hear from you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up and share this with any of your jewelry making friends that might be interested in these items or in the YouTube Partner Program with BB Craft. Let me know below in the comments which one was your favorite of what you've seen here. Be sure to come back and watch as I create jewelry with these wonderful components here. Have a sparkle day, y'all.